So Kensington Acquisition just announced it will be taking QuantumScape public through a SPAC IPO acquisition. QuantumScape is looking to develop and bring to market the rumored and highly anticipated solid-state battery by 2025. In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at this new SPAC and its potential. Let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at Volkswagen's press statement to get a feel for Volkswagen's bullish view on its QuantumScape investment. Volkswagen will invest 100 million US dollars in the US-based QuantumScape and will become the innovative enterprise's largest automotive shareholder. Closing of the transaction is subject to regulatory approval. Solid-state battery cell technology is seen as the most promising approach for the e-mobility of the future. For example, a solid-state battery would increase the range of the e-Golf to approximately 750 kilometers compared with the present 300 kilometers. This battery technology has further advantages over the present lithium-ion technology, higher energy density, enhanced safety, better fast charging capability, and, above all, they take up significantly less space. A solid-state battery of the same size as a current battery package can achieve a range comparable to that of conventional vehicles. While the approach has a lot of promise, advantages have been difficult to attain and no other battery supplier has been able to achieve automotive performance. Volkswagen successfully tested QuantumScape's early-stage solid-state battery cell samples in Germany, running at automotive rates of power and industry first. Okay, so now let's jump right into the presentation deck, and it should become quite clear why this is a very interesting opportunity. First of all, after this transaction, QuantumScape will have $1.15 billion of cash to fund commercialization, with no additional equity capital needed prior to production launch. The flip side of this statement is that it sounds like they may need to raise more capital for their production launch. The estimated value of the IPO transaction at $3.3 billion is approximately 1 times 2027 estimated revenues. That's the real kicker with this spec. You have to look out about 7 years before the economics makes sense. Talk about getting in early and taking a leap of faith. But this leap of faith may be one worth making. The company already boasts 10 years of R&D investments beginning in 2010, which has culminated in over 200 patents, extensive trade secrets, and over 200 employees. Speaking of employees, check out the impressive management team. From the chair of mechanical engineering at Stanford to energy storage PhD experts at Berkeley, the credentials of the management team are quite impressive. And when I look at the board of directors of this company, one name stands out above all others, J.B. Straubel, the ex-chief technical officer at Tesla and founder of the lithium-ion battery recycling company Redwood, who also received his bachelor's and master's in energy engineering from Stanford. Finally, we have some big-named investors, including Bill Gates and Volkswagen. Instead of investing in incremental improvements to existing lithium-ion technologies, Volkswagen is betting on the big solid-state lithium-ion breakthrough. And honestly, if I were that far behind Tesla in battery tech, I would probably do the same thing that Volkswagen's doing. Okay, so now let's look at some of the advantages of the solid-state battery per the investor presentation. First, the projected energy density of these solid-state batteries is 100 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram better than today's best lithium-ion batteries, which, according to the presentation, hit a ceiling at around 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. But QuantumScape's solution leaps past this ceiling using anodeless manufacturing, a solid-state separator, and a lithium metal anode. This battery breakthrough involves more than just energy density. The new batteries are projected to enable way faster charging times, from 0% to 80% in just 15 minutes. Technology like this sure raises questions when it comes to the hydrogen transportation thesis. The battery lifetime will be increased because there will be no capacity loss at the anode interface. Solid state batteries are safer due to the elimination of the organic separator. This solid state separator will be non-flammable and non-combustible. Solid state batteries are even estimated to have 17% lower manufacturing costs than traditional lithium ion batteries. What about the financials? Well, QuantumScape doesn't plan on beginning production until 2025 and doesn't anticipate ramping to positive EBITDA until 2027. 
Further, it looks like we have to wait until 2028 for positive free cash flows. The presentation deck doesn't provide an outlook for expectations past 2028. But either way, owners will have to demonstrate a lot of patience to make it to the point where this company's earnings constitute a solid return on investment. Obviously, there is no guarantee that QuantumScape will be the first company to successfully commercialize the solid-state battery. After all, they are likely going to be in a race against Tesla, who is deep down the battery research rabbit hole and has already acquired many of the most promising battery companies and some of the best engineers. Although I do have to admit, QuantumScape does seem to be well positioned at this point in time due to their focus on solid state and not incremental improvements to the traditional lithium ion technologies. But a lot can change in seven years. And even if QuantumScape does successfully create superior batteries, what premium and profit margins will QuantumScape command? What batteries will the competition have at that time? And if QuantumScape is merely a battery manufacturer, will QuantumScape be able to capture much of the value add economics? Or will electric vehicle companies such as Volkswagen that utilize these solid state batteries reap much of the rewards? But on the bright side, this would obviously be potentially game changing technology. The increased density and longevity of these batteries would enable all types of new technologies including electrical vertical takeoff and landing airplanes. It would be a huge boost to the economics of renewable energy in general, and another nail in the coffin for dirty energy. And for that reason, I would like to support the development of this technology by scooping up a few speculative shares. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Are you considering purchasing any QuantumScape stock? Is QuantumScape a good hedge for Tesla shareholders against potentially superior battery technologies? For more content on investments related to renewable energy and electric vehicles, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.